Hey, yo, what's up? This is Hassan. So, shout out to TJ Got Kicks 89. So What is up guys, TJ Got Kicks 89 here back with another review for you guys. This was a pickup that I got along with Arif Black Cat video um, vlog that if you watch, I'll leave a card somewhere up here. But I said I had a pickup that I wasn't really expecting to see in store that day. And it's actually a Jordan 1 mid and I think this is called the Green Toe. Um, but the official colors are black pine green white gym red in my size 9.5 and this was a JD um, last pair stock but I was really excited to see this in store because I wasn't planning on paying the the carousel Facebook resell rates right now um, but I was glad that I got this pair in store and if you guys that this is the shoe so I'm just gonna place this one pair right here in the corner and just gonna get straight into the actual review of this the Jordan 1 mid green toe this was a release towards the end of last year I believe somewhere in December or November 2019 I can't exactly remember but this is the shoe that we will be looking at today so this is a Jordan 1 mid in a less than traditional colorway usually Jordan 1's or Jordans in general are associated with the black red colorway but always seeing a green Jordan like the Celtics the pine greens the pine green mids always excite me because I I'm a huge fan of the green colorway but this is, I wasn't expecting really to pick it up, to, to pick it up, but, but um, I saw this colorway in um, official images and really couldn't pass it up. So the shoe is primarily a leather build, as you can see. Um, and it is done in, like I said, the black, pine green, and gym red color. And let's just start off with the materials on the toe. Let's just take the shoe tree out so you can have a rough idea. But it is not the most softest Jordan 1 leather, but I think this will break in nicely, crease over time, and hopefully will be a little bit more wearable. Um, I'm not really convinced that this is genuine leather. I have a feeling that this is synthetic. Um, the toe, the toe ran, the toe cap, the side panels um, and even the back is all synthetic but the toe is done in this pine green colorway and the toe cap around it is done up in black and this goes the same for the lace loops going straight up and also in the back you have the black leather and the green collar and this Jordan 1 logo done up in red and on the side panels you have white with a contrasting green swoosh which is done up in a very very shiny patent leather color and all through the laces you have black flat laces running through and the tongue is a Jordan nylon tongue and the tag up top is done in black and the jump man is in gym red now let's get to the inside before we get to the bottom on the inside you have an all black liner with a green jumpman if you can see there you go a black liner with a green jumpman and same with the inner color lining and also on the back of the color itself now getting to the midsole it's a standard Jordan 1 cup so um, done up in white instead of sail which is a good thing because I think we've gotten really um, saturated the market got really saturated with sale color maybe because it ages better but hey I like this fresh clean white uh, midsole and on the bottom you have a pine green Jordan 1 outsole and I think that looking at this along with the top just provides a fresh perspective to the Jordan 1 and the Jordan 1 made in general now what I think of this shoe I think that although um, 
Nike just recently released it on Nike Malaysia on the 6th of February, I believe. And JD had um, JD's accounts had them earlier in store um, in November and December. I think that this is a pretty interesting drop. Um, I love the colors. I love the color blocking. And I think that this is, like I said, a fresh perspective on a Jordan 1 mid. Um, to date, I've got the Jordan 1 pine green highs. I've got the Jordan 1 pine green mids lying somewhere at the back there. And I finally got this. So I think that this will definitely be in one of my top five rotations that I will be wearing at least this year. So I think that takes care of the review of the Jordan 1 green toe mid. Um, I'm not sure if you can get this in store, but you're, pro you're probably going to have to look at your local resellers or retailers if they still have it available. In Malaysia, I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Most of them has gone to the reseller's hands, so if you were quick enough, you would have gotten your pair. If you slept on it, you would probably have to pay resale. So this is your boy TJ Got Kicks. I am checking out. This is the Jordan 1 Green Toe Mid. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Merch is still available. My t-shirt's in white and black. And I'll see you guys at the next one.